If you've been following the Linuxy guys on YouTube, you've probably heard of Duez. But if not, here's a quick recap. Duez in the BSD world is a way to assume the privileges of another user, usually root. In Linux, it's used as a smaller, less bloated pseudo replacement. It has a smaller code base, less known bugs and exploits, and it's finally available in the Debian repos. So when I found this out, I resolved to make a video about it at some point. If you're running Debian Bullseye or DevOne Chimera, do as is in your repos, and you don't have to reinstall to be able to use it. Simply install it, configure it, and start using it. You might have something that depends on sudo for some reason, so I don't really recommend removing sudo in, at least until you know for sure it's not going to mess up your system. But once you've got do as working properly, you can remove yourself from the sudoers file if you want to go that route. If you want to do this the way I did on my laptop in Debian or Dev1, with do as being the only way to elevate privileges, you would first need to install the distribution and give the root user a password during the installation. This will give your user no root privileges by default and it will also not install sudo. This is a good thing for what I'm trying to accomplish here. So if you're going to install Debian or Dev1, you can just kind of install it the way you normally do, but just be sure to give your root user a password. And you can choose whatever desktop you want because in the end, this is the only thing that's gonna be different. And then once you have Debian installed, you can become root and then in run updates. So I'm gonna switch over to the desktop and kind of simulate a lot of this. So once you become root, you're going to run su and become root, and then run apt update. Let that run, and then you can do apt install do as. You know, of course, as the root user. Now, do as does have a configuration file, but it's one that you're going to have to write yourself. And the location of this file is in etsy doas.conf. Now, I already have do as installed on the system, and it's already configured. But I want to go ahead and show you some of the syntax that you're going to need to use in this config file to make it work properly. Because if you want to just have a bare bones, you know, minimum thing for do as, you would need to put this in your etsy slash do as dot com file. Permit Mike or your user as root. And that's it. That's all you got to put and you're up and running with do as. But if you're like me and you want to configure it a little bit more, I'll show you what you got to do. You see, there are lots and lots of options that you can give do as to kind of tailor it to what you want to, to how you want it to behave. So let's actually look at the man page, man do as dot conf. Uh, you can permit and deny. You give options, the identity, the target, and the command, and the arguments. You can actually permit yourself or deny yourself or deny other people on your system in your doas.conf file. You give it the options, you give it your, you give it your identity, what you want to run as, and the command that you want to run as. So the best way that I can show you is to say is to show you the file. But I'm going to run through the options first. So your options are no pass, no log, persist, keep env, and set env. So no pass, of course, is not going to require you to enter a password. No log is not going to log successful command execution to syslogd. Your persist is going to not ask you for a password after successfully authenticating for some time. Keep environment or keep env is one of my favorite things because it allows you to keep your environment variables the same even though you've become root. So let's say you want to do as vim etsy app sources dot list you're going to edit that with your vim config instead of roots vim config which i really like this set env i haven't used it yet now the identity the identity is you or the identity is the somebody else who wants to become you or another user or root and groups can be specified but you're going to have to put a colon before that so let's say you want to have the wheel group colon wheel now the target is what you want to run as. In my case, it's root. Now the command is the 
is the command like apt or system ctl or you know just anything like that mount you mount now the arguments is what you want to run after the command and honestly i don't i haven't used any of the arguments yet i just set it up and let it go other than that that's it's a pretty short little man page so if we get out of that and we get out our slash etsy do as dot conf you're going to see permit persist keep env mike as root so it's going to allow me to become root it's going to persist so it's not going to ask me for a password every time and i keep my environment variables while i am the root user also it permits me with no password as root when i run an apt command or power off or reboot or rc service or rc update or system ctl or snap root snap home mount u mount update db or make dir it's highly configurable and it's just got a sane syntax and it works really well i've been super pleased with do as so anyway i'm gonna let you see it in action so let's say do as apt update and say i didn't have to type in my password but you see i also have sudo on the system too so sudo apt update and you see they work essentially the same so if i want to say do as system ctl restart plex media server it just goes ahead and does it and of course i can set up aliases for all of this as well so really that's about it um this is pretty great i've been using do as for some time now and i really wanted to share with you guys some of the cool ways you can set it up so thank you for watching like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one I only have do as on my laptop and I still type pseudo sometimes.